you know, irrefutable evidence to overturn a call, just like in the NFL. That, to me, looked like it was too close to overturn. Good job. Dixon with a steal. Wizards run. Russell the other way. It's foul, followed by Stackhouse. The basket will not count. They'll get the foul and send Russell to the free throw line. Well, Juan Dixon is the player that forced that turnover double backed and stripped the ball and that leads to a three on one situation but Bender does get back to challenge the shot gets the foul but doesn't allow Brian Russell to get the, the layup Russell took a pretty good shot but hangs in there and makes the free throw 6 7 225 in his 10th year from Long Beach State has been to the playoffs all nine years with the Utah Jazz Indiana, 29 field goals made in this game. 25 of them have been assisted. That's 86% of their baskets assisted. That's incredible. And incredible, especially yeah. on the road, Phil. Yep. Now, that their season high for assists is 30. They had that against the Timberwolves uh, about a week or so ago. Austin Kruger blocked by Thomas, and he takes it away from him. The ultimate defensive play. Brings the fans to life here. Down by 10. Thomas inside. Jumper a little bit short. Jared Jeffries comes out of there with it. Dixon, Jeffries, Stackhouse, Thomas, and Brian Russell. As Doug Collins looks for any combination to get this team going. Stackhouse, jumper, missed it. Stackhouse 2 of 15 tonight yeah. after going 4 of 19 in Memphis. I tell you, you put those two games together, you figure he's got to be pressing just a little bit, trying to find that groove. Keep in mind, a night before that game in Memphis in Houston, he couldn't miss. He was on fire from the field. Yeah, against Houston. He went nine for 20, but he good job. Juan Dixon let his man go and then took off to the passing lane and picked off that pass. Russell misses a three. Jeffries another rebound and then throws it away. He was trying to get Stackhouse, who was under the basket, but he was backing away. Another sellout crowd on hand tonight as the Wizards' string continues. Harrington dumps it underneath in the slam by Jonathan Bender. Jonathan Bender, who broke Michael Jordan's 17-year-old record when he scored 31 points in the McDonald's High School All-American game in 1999. Jordan had 30 in 1981, and MJ getting set to check back in the game. Dixon puts it up short. Jeffries is there. Knocked out of bounds. Give it to the Wizards with five seconds to shoot. Jordan in for Russell. MJ in the game and in the basket. 19 points for Jordan. Again, the lead is 10. Wizards need some stops here. Fans come to life. Defense. Stolen by Dixon. Well, Juan twice has made good defensive plays that have resulted in turnovers. Dixon's jumper. of his brilliant career at Maryland. Dixon doing it at both ends of the court. Fans on their feet. And the Wizards have cut it to eight with 8.50 to go in regulation. A spectacular performance off the bench from the former Maryland star. And it's the closest the Wizards have been this half. Dixon off the glass. Yes. Scored and he's fouled on the play. Well, I tell you, he continues to impress me because it's not easy 
not knowing when your number is going to be called, but you have to stay ready. Somebody has to do that, and, and every time his number is called, he has played hard, and he has been very, very effective. Unfortunately, Dixon missed the free throw. Indiana with four turnovers. That's goaltending. Score the basket. It came off the glass. Four turnovers in six possessions for Indiana, and then they come up with a basket there on the goaltend. Well, you don't want to have those kind of mental letdowns, not when you're starting to change the momentum of this game. You got the fans off their feet. You got to, your offense going. They've outscored them so far this quarter. Jeffries inside, gets it back. Here's Dixon in the lane, fading jumper good. Nine points in 16 minutes for Dixon on four of eight shooting. He has almost single-handedly helped the Wizards get back in this game, along with Jordan and Atan Thomas, and the play of Jeffries. O'Neal inside. Great shot. Oh. telling them to quiet the crowd, but uh, that was a tough shot. It's nice to have that kind of go-to guy down there. Wizards had cut it to six. Dixon has the last six points for Washington. Jeffries inside. Off the glass and in. A mighty a line shot. drive shot off the glass. <laughs> Four points for the rookie from Indiana. Six-point lead, fans chanting defense. Our test drives and no call. Looked like he got fouled going to the basket, but the Pacers will get it back with three seconds on the shot clock. Our test, uh, about 6'7", but I tell you, he weighs in about 250. Strong player, puts it on the floor. They missed the shot on the inbound, and Dixon has it for Washington. Jordan's jumper. Got it! Three-pointer! His third of the game! And the Wizards have cut it to three! What a comeback! 22 points for Jordan. This is something Doug talked about. When you get teams to miss shot, you're able to push the ball down before they get their defense set. Dixon with another steal. Stackhouse. Oh, he missed it. Dixon chases it down. Man, has this been a <laughs> frenzied affair. Doug Collins wants time. Good timeout. Hold on to your hats. It ain't over yet. Six oh six to play in regulation, and the lead is three. The Wizards trailed by 19, 63, 44. But Washington's been on a 24 to eight run in the last 8:54, led by Dixon and MJ. You see Stackhouse's numbers. Jerry could have tied the game with a three-pointer, but he's shooting just two of 16 from the floor tonight. Now maneuvering inside, lays it off for Dixon. Wise jumper. Well, he's he all is, over the yes, court. Yes, he is. He's forced several steals. Jordan from way out, no good. That results in a jump ball in the NBA. I mentioned before that timeout, good timeout from Doug. They, they cut the lead down to three. It's time to get your composure and then make another run. Jordan takes that three. He gets stuck right between the backboard and the rim. Sometimes only Michael Jordan can stop time. Big jump ball. Before that sequence, Jordan and Dixon had made their last eight shots. Stackhouse again, looking for Jeffries, knocked away from behind by O'Neal. The Wizards coaches won a foul over the back, but don't get one. Now my, uh, Collins yelling at Kevin Fair, saying he came over the back, but no call. Five seconds to shoot. 
Jordan missed it. Tipped away by Jeffries out of bounds. That's O'Neal's first rebound of the quarter. And he's got 17 in the game. Our test knocked away by Jordan. Fouled. And he'll go to the line. That's the strength of Michael Jordan. Absolutely, Sometimes because it's underrated. right out here, he was being held off pretty strong by our test. Our test knew that he had lost the ball, but Jordan fought through that. Watch him strip the ball and then be held off by our test slightly. Reach that round in front of him right there. He's trying to hold him off, but Jordan fights through it. And then he attacks the basket, forces the contact. Not a lot, but still, Jordan goes to the line for two. Michael, one of two from the free throw line tonight. He's playing in 29 minutes right now. Has 23 points. His season high was 27 against Seattle. And his season high in minutes, 34 against Utah. Gets them both, and the Wizards have cut it to one. Amazingly, have whittled this 19-point Indiana lead down. And that's just what they did to whittle away at it, little by little. Reggie Miller the screen out three pointer by Miller his third of the game first contest of the year for Reggie Miller who's missed all 12 with a bad ankle Jordan spinning on our test and it's foul let's see if they give him two Collins wants two Jordan says he was going up. He's going over to tell Monty McCutcheon, I was going up to shoot, and the guy grabbed me. Trying to get away from Artest, who's a strong, strong defensive player. Man, I agree with MJ. He knew the guy was going to grab him. MJ fading. Ooh, with an out, no good. Four minutes to play in regulation. O'Neal underneath. Missed it. Jeffries got pushed away from the basket and missed yeah. it. This is, a, this is one of those games that really shows you that uh, the necessity for strength and holding your position. Jeffries had good position, but he got nudged out by the stronger Jermaine O'Neal. And at the other end, Jordan commits the foul. And you see the three-point uh, attempts. He's the all-time NBA leader, and that 40% is an incredible number because uh, years ago, you know, now you're starting to see people shoot 45 to 50% from three-point range, but uh, 15 years ago when he started, uh, the more, the better number was more around, around 37, 38%. So the Wizards cut it to one, it's now six, and a foul called on Tinsley as he bothers Juan Dixon, that's the third on Tinsley. And Dixon will shoot now. Well, Washington, on the other hand, uh, has been to the line. I, Little, 18 light, times. Little, little light contact there. For yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. A lot. <laughs> I think Monty McCutcheon just uh, felt there was a little too much there. Speaking with Isaiah Thomas. And Dixon makes both free throws. The lead is four. Miller with a fake, the jumper, he missed it. And Todd Thomas has come in and played well tonight. Jeffries off the glass and in. In the last two games, he finished with 20 against Memphis to lead Washington in scoring. And tonight he has 24 points in the game.
in 31 minutes of play. Juan Dixon has played a tremendous game. 21 minutes, 11 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, wow. 4 steals, <laughs> and just one turnover. And the free throw missed by Artest. Three-point pacer lead with 2.53 to play in regulation. Steve Buckhantz and Phil Chenier. Wizards look to snap a three-game losing streak. Dixon all the way. Bounce pass. Thomas inside. And he got fouled. Another assist to Juan Dixon. It's a hard foul coming from Brad Miller. Once again, now you stretch the defense out. You're not, uh, defenders are not as willing to help. They do collapse, but that's after Juan gets in the middle and he's able to make a difficult pass, a wraparound to Aton Thomas. And Aton takes it across the mug. Wizards 18 for 20 from the free throw line. That's 90%. And Thomas, three for three from the line. He can once again cut the lead to one. And does. He's been practicing his free throws. Yes, he has. Fans again. Sellout crowd come to life. 20,178. Miller's mm. fouled by Dixon. I don't know how Jermaine O'Neal got that shot off. He had three defenders on him. He went up in the air and then dipped in underneath one of the defenders. Still, watch this. And moves it around and then gets his own rebound. Yeah, that's what hurt. Jordan trying to get it off. Thomas is there. Fouled from behind. No call. Doug Boy, it's hard to believe that there was no no contact yeah. there. Collins is excoriating the official Kevin Fair. And he's now yelling at Monty McCutcheon for the same reason. Miller open from 16 feet. That's money in the bank. Collins takes time and he is still searching for a man in a striped shirt. Big possession here for Washington. Jordan fade away. Missed it. Jeffries was coming in to try to get the rebound, but the ball was creeping off the rim. And that ball just missing by hitting the front of the rim. 20 rebounds for Jermaine O'Neal, a new season high. Dixon steals it. Dixon ahead of the pack. Good defense by Jordan. Jordan. Jordan forced it, but Juan was in position to capitalize. 13 points for Dixon. And... Boy, the Wizard bench is up, calling for a travel, traveling violation on O'Neal. Stack out for Dixon. Down low for MJ. Less than a minute. Big shot. Got it. 26 for Jordan. The lead is three. We gotta get a stop here. Come the call, but you just stay ready. And uh, that's just what this young man has done. And that's uh, the ultimate of playing professional basketball. Nice shot there. And he's throwing it all over the place. Uh, finishing on the break there. Coming up with steals. Doing his fair share of board work with four rebounds. What Make a that line. five rebounds now. What a beautiful yeah. line. 13 points, five boards, four assists, five and five steals. steals. <laughs> Coming into tonight's game, Dixon had his season and career high six points against Boston and both games against Cleveland.
This is his seventh game played in this year and averaging just under six minutes coming into tonight's game. Maryland's all-time leading scorer with 2,269 points. Second in steals to Johnny Rhodes. Boy, Washington getting the job done in this fourth quarter, outscoring their opponents for the first time by seven. They still need to make up three more, five more points. Also, Indiana's had six turnovers in the quarter, and the Wizards just won. Wizards need points. Jordan inside gets fouled. He's looking to get in there and draw yeah. the foul, which either gives him a chance at a three-point play, but it also stops the clock. Absolutely. You want to stop the clock, and I'm still kind of confused at why they gave the foul up up here on Tinsley. Only 10 seconds left on the shot clock uh, on that last possession, but here's the play. Jordan going to the basket hard. Trying to get that shot off. You see how much he's moving the ball around. Jordan has equaled his season high with 27 points. He's four of five from the free throw line. In your box, man. On the release. One. 36 and nine tenths seconds to play in regulation. <laughs> Tough miss. Now you gotta get the ball back. And they do. Jordan with a steal. And he's fouled from behind. He almost hesitated to try to get the basket in a possible three-point play. Well, I think he, I think he felt our test on him. Is that going to be a clear, clear pass? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. They're going to give him two shots. Two shots. Okay. Pacers. Well, see, he's trying to lean in and get that ball off the backboard. Our test was complaining that Jordan fouled him. So was Isaiah Thomas. Here, MJ in 60 games shot 79% from the free throw line. Coming into this game, 73%. He's got 28 points, a new season high. Not the guy you want to foul, but you have to foul at some point. Dixon's runner, no good. And that may do it. Dixon oh. with a steal and lays it off the ground. He's been Six unbelievable. Steals. <laughs> and now with eight seconds to go, the Wizards trail by three. Juan Dixon has been spectacular. <laughs> Six steals in the game. MJ with four steals. Stackhouse stolen away by Tinsley, and that will do it. Well, the Wizards found themselves down by 19. They did not quit. They battled back. They cut it to one. Juan Dixon, a magnificent performance off the bench. Finishing with a career-high 15 points and six steals, but it's not enough. And the Wizards drop their fourth straight game, losing tonight to the Pacers, 88-84. to Wizards down 45-34th half. Second half, Wizards down by 19. But Michael for three. He played 34 minutes, had a game-high 28. They're down 16. Juan Dixon, Sue, played 24 minutes. He had six steals. He also had 15 points. He had four assists. Wizards are down by only six. Now, under six minutes to play, Michael again, he took three threes. He made three threes. Wiz within one, 71-70, a great comeback that, of course, is stopped by a dagger. Reggie Miller, yeah, he had 13. None bigger than that. Wizards fall 88-84. They have lost four straight.